Hey y'all, today we're gonna show you how to make cheese lovers crock pot shells in our crock pot. It's super simple to make, it's really cheesy like yours truly, and we're gonna make it all while having a whole lot of fun. Did you hear the sad news about the world's most famous noodle maker? No. He passed away. Oh boy. R.D. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the Good Old Boy, where we're cooking up dishes straight from RecipesThatCrock.com, which is my beautiful wife's cooking blog. And today we're going to be making cheese lovers crock pot shells. And what that entails is a whole lot of cheese, and who better than to give you a whole lot of cheese <laughs> than me? And what you're going to need for this delicious dish is the following ingredients. Right here in this little pot, big pot rather, I have 16 ounces, that is one box of shells. Shells! There you go. And then you need one third cup of milk and a whole lot of cheese. This will be up to what you want, whatever kind of cheeses you like. Lou makes recommendations on the blog. We're going to do something a little bit different. It's whatever kind of cheeses that you enjoy. We were supposed to put Colby in it. We didn't have Colby in the fridge, but we had a whole lot of cheddar and we love the cheddar. So we're doubling up on the cheddar. So I'm going to say you want two cups of Colby or you can have uh, two cups plus two cups is four cups of cheddar cheese. We're also gonna use two cups of mozzarella cheese, two cups of shredded Parmesan cheese, and then this is two cups of shredded Munster. No, no, it's not Herman. Or what, Lily? No, that's the other show. That's oh, the Adams Family. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't, I don't mean to make you feel da 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 dum. <laughs> I get it! <sighs> Anywho. It goes a little something like this. You boil the pasta just like you normally do. And then you drain your pasta Wait. like you should. Wait. Yes. Is that real or is it an impasta? <laughs> These jokes are getting really cheesy. <laughs> pasta right in your slow cooker just like that. Hey, they all came out. Cool. Probably al dente. Uh, a little firmer than usual. Yep, yep because they're going to cook for a little while longer. Yep. Now, I'm going to cover that up so I save the heat because I'm going to need that heat. I'm going to take all of my cheese. That's my, in this case, four cups of mozzarella. Or as they say it in my hometown of Italy, mozzarella. That's how Jada would say it. Jada, if you watch it, there you go. Oh my gosh. And two cups of, I'm sorry, that was cheddar. That was cheddar. <laughs> That's the mozzarella. Yeah, Jada, how back you in your hometown of Italy, right? Jada's watching the one. And then you got two cups of your shredded Parmesan in the bowl. And then two cups of the Munster. Munster is a, almost like a softer cheese, and but it comes out quite nice. I didn't know how that was going to come out of that shredder. I went to a store outside of town and got the Munster cheese, and it was in slices. And I tried shredding it up in, the, in this. And it bogged down pretty good because it's a softer cheese, so it gets uh, a little more viscous real quick. And then all I want to do is mix up my cheeses. My hands are clean. I'm going to go ahead and use them because either way it goes, you know there's going to be a spectacular mess. <laughs> now, <clears throat> y'all know Octavius, our little Yorkie, right? Our little camper dog. Well, he's camping out right now <laughs> yes. on the other side of this <laughs> counter. You can't see him, but I sure can because he is attentive. eyeballing. He's like... <laughs> Please just drop that cheese. Please just drop that whole bowl. Now you and I both know I'm a professional and that's not going to happen. <laughs> but you get that all mixed up as good as you can or as good as you can. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to keep coming. Oh man. And now what I want to do is give my dog a little bit because you are being very patient. Good boy. Here you go. A little bit of cheese oh for you. Oh my goodness. Okay. That was a lot. But hey, he's a big dog. Now I want to take. A big dog. I'm going to take two thirds of this cheese, and I'm going to put it on my shells. Your hot shells. They need to be hot when you do this. A little bit more, and do a little bit more. I am getting cheese everywhere. <laughs> Not me. Let me guess. You'll clean that up later. Well, I'll put the dog on the counter anyway. No, you won't. Oh <laughs> I'm my kidding. He, I'm he so is kidding. so not gonna do that. Please do not write the comments. My director is like <laughs> Anywho, you mixed up your pastas 
with your cheese so it's going to get all incorporated so let me give that a really good stir those cheeses all together smell so good and now they're starting to get heated up and it's starting to melt a little bit with that pasta so it's going to be real good oh my goodness oh my oh my now y'all I could eat it just like this and be fine and dandy but I'll do it the way Lou said to. So you get that all mixed up like that. And then, once you get all your cheese mixed in with your shells, then you take the rest of your cheese and you put it on the top. So that's gonna be a huge topping of cheese, a huge layer on the top of that pasta. This is a mouse's dream right here. <laughs> Mice and dogs on the counter, really. <clears throat> Nobody call uh, call uh, FDA. They might come and shut us down. Uh, oh, no. We don't let our mice on the counter. We don't even have mice. <laughs> we do have one happy dog. Hey, did you get enough cheese? Here's some more. Michael! And then you just want to take your... What is that? What was that again? That was uh, one third cup of milk. And go right on the top of your cheese. That's right, we're supporting our local dairy. With all that, so you put a lid on it. And you want to set this on high for one to two hours. What you're looking for is around the edges of everything. That cheese is getting real bubbly. All that cheese is going to melt down. It's going to get down into them shells and the rest of that cheese you put in there. And you're going to see a little golden crust start to form around the edges of your slow cooker. Once that happens, you're good to go. Well, so, wait, wait, wait. One to two hours? Uh -huh. That's approximately the amount of time it will take you to clean up the kitchen. <laughs> Aki, come here. <laughs> no. We'll be back on the count of three with some good stuff for you on the wall. Oh. How <laughs> many times can we make that joke so cheesy? <laughs> In three, two, one, and two hours have come and gone, and I feel some cheesiness coming on. <laughs> this should be done. Let's check it out and see how we did. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. I was going to say, the cheesiness never left. It, oh. it was here the whole time. No, I went to Lowe's to get some <laughs> stuff, but oh my gosh. I almost just want to take a picture of it. Ah, I still will take video and I'm going to eat it. <laughs> there's just miles and miles of cheese and it smells so good. It's this tiny. is the macaroni and cheese mm -hmm. Aunt Lou says is the best on the side. Yep, like, yep. This is her favorite. Well, I have not had it yet, but I've smelled enough to know <laughs> that she's probably right. Let's give this a taste. Oh, 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 oh. One thing I'm going to show you real quick. On the outer edge of this, because all the heat's coming from the outside, you know, and it's cooking around the sides of that. You see that, that little line right there? Where's that? Where's this? There it is. That little line right there of brownness, that golden deliciousness, <laughs> that's when the cheese gets all browned, kind of like on the top of a pizza or baked mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. you kind of, this is kind of a combination of baked mac and cheese and stovetop. So I know it's going to be hot. I really don't care. <laughs> that was a big bite. <laughs> Oh my god. No, it's all my cheese. Oh my gouda. <laughs> There's no gouda in it. Mm. <laughs> it's hot. Mm -mm 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 -mm. If you like cheese, <laughs> you'll love this. If you don't like cheese, this will make you like cheese. That's why it's called Cheese Lovers. Oh my gosh, and it is. That is the perfect side dish, or there's enough protein in there from all the cheese to be a perfect dinner. I think I know what I'm having for dinner today. <laughs> but that is really good. I taste, I mean, of course, we use two things, the sharp cheddar. So I taste that sharp cheddar, but then the mozzarella, just like it does on the top of a pizza. I'm teasing myself with that bite. It kind of spreads out and it holds everything together. You taste that real pungent flavor of the parmesan that's in there and then that gouda is just it it makes the it's creaminess not gouda, of all baby. Of it. Or not, I'm sorry not gouda <laughs> the 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 monster in there 
<laughs> Sorry, I was making fun of you for that. Uh -huh. But the monster in there gives it a creaminess, you know, and that milk just kind of, it keeps everything from drying out. Oh my gosh, Aunt Lou, if you're watching, good job. So good. Mm -mm -mm. I could go all day eating this. But before I go, I want to say thanks to you all for watching this video. If you like what you saw, give us a thumbs up. If you have not become a member of our Crock Posse, all you got to do is click subscribe down below. And welcome to the family. Also, check us out over at patreon.com slash recipes that crock. If you want to financially support what we're doing for you and for all of the Crock Posse, whatever you do, keep watching because we'll keep cooking and all will be well. Can I make one more Gouda joke? <laughs> sure. I think I'm going to change my last name to Mikey Gouda. Uh... Well, you are what you eat. <laughs> There's no Gouda in it! Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> or support our local dairy. With all that, so you put a lid on it. Okay. Because I forgot how long to put it on it for. Hi, one or two hours. Oh, well, I'm sure it's going to break the dog's heart. Mm -hmm. Ready! <laughs> Glasses got a little fogged up. <clears throat> Here we go. Woo! You better be asking the crowd for better jokes <laughs> this time, too. <laughs>